Okay, welcome to part two of Aridia the rulebook. Um, this is not the final rulebook. This is the work in progress. There is no art on the outside. Are you uh, annoyed by this lack of art? Then do not watch. Um, I discussed in the first video uh, the uh, general impression I had from just the index. The index is fantastic. Uh, the description of uh, every component of the game, so uh, learning skills, mastering skills. Um, it's very, very well done. Um, so basic items, how they look like, what they do, where to put. It's fantastic. Um, yes, I hate the uh, uh, sans serif uh, font. But what can you do? This is a, a working document, uh, so different. Uh, Gem bison provides minimal protection. Basic love. Okay. Yeah, so there's a first sketch of the numbers and the leg legends below it. Um, what else is here? I can rules card, combat. Uh, two modes of combat, adventure and combat. Session starts with the first player token with adventure side up. When one or more monsters are revealed, flip the token to combat side up. The game now is in combat. Uh, combat, unlike the more freeform movement and turn structure in adventure mode while in combat, uh, character turns, movement and actions are all carefully tracked using rounds. Each round, uh, monsters and players will take turns fighting each other. And the combat can end in one of three ways. Uh, exiles defeat all the monsters. Exiles is uh, the thematic lore of your uh, player party um, you were by the story just always starts with uh, that you are exiled um, so the exiles are all knocked out at the end of a player turn or ex all exiles flee the combat so I think you cannot die um, okay that's good Increase. Yeah, you've seen this in the demos. Uh, there are certain types of fronts. This is the, the threat uh, track in detail. It's a nice system. Uh, gives from variety, uh, low uh, maintenance and administration. Uh, this discusses the dummy. Uh, the practice dummy and apparently there is something else than rats there is a buckle bandit so that's good um. oh yeah and uh, all the miniatures are uh, the hero miniatures are painted I'm not sure about the, the, the other enemies I think some are miniatures and the rest is uh, plastic uh, standees. Um, here we have some examples and how to move. Yeah, this is very, very well done. Uh, you can see a lot how much work went into this document. Alone. Of course, if you don't want to know anything about uh, about Aridia and just back it, then don't watch. Uh, so, I'll point at the weapon attacks. Um, as you can see, this is designed to not be printed, but to click, be clicked, uh, which you cannot do in a physical form. A uh, lot of examples. Maybe more examples than you need, but uh, yeah, there's the hit grid uh, um, unique selling point of uh, of the game. So it's a lot of new ideas that weren't present in uh, in Zaya. Um, so it's quite a daring project uh, without any anything to come before it. Uh, what's this? 
Oh yeah, it, ex it explains how you attack from the top or from the from the right. Cool. A uh, lot of examples. Uh, so the role playing, the in a really a part of the fun is putting yourself in into the role of different characters. Um, you will create your own character in exile and will primarily play the game as that character. You and the other players will also take turns. So um, RPG games uh, books uh, uh, like Dungeons and Dragons uh, started start <laughs> with the role playing. Um, in Aridia, uh, it it just uh, part of uh, uh, like an, a side note that's all uh, I like that uh, um, depth uh, so you can yeah the idea is that you play this non solo so you can uh, ask questions and the other one has, has a answer pattern uh, and depending on the that interaction between players and uh, one has the uh, information the other one is uh, uh, um, role-playing <laughs> yes so this is green legacy and chat boxes our promise for really is that you have changes in your game that you can fully reset when you've completed the game to this end we're providing three options for you tokens pencil or disposable sleeves I would go with sleeves. And then you write on the sleeve and you remove the sleeve. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe use the cardboard tokens then. So they provide enough card, card, cardboard tokens because otherwise uh, every next game you play you uh, would need more sleeves and what sleeve size then. So this is the rule book. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have pages because it was not designed uh, to be printed. Um, but we also have... Uh, the quick start guide and the quick start guide as assumes I think that somebody read the rule book uh, really is full of secret components and surprises so don't open anything or get anything out of the box unless instructed uh, so if you are into that kind of thing then it is Worth considering, I don't hold any stock or uh, close ties with the creator. And as I've shown in previous videos, I'm uh, not shy to burn uh, products. I'm not here to roast it, I'm just observing. Yeah, I think this, this will work. It seems to guide you through um, the, the first uh, first area. So you gain one XP and you clear the map. So it's a practice field. Um, it walks you through everything. I think. Could you play this without having read the rule book? Maybe. Let's see. In the TTS version, characters have been pre made. Any characters not being used can be easily removed from the table. Alt click and drag over unused character components, then delete. Choose a path, player cards. Here it is described. So I think this is all you need. Um, you don't need a rule book. Uh, you only need a rule book, I think, to uh, to 
look up things. Uh, so I hope they make a good index. <coughs> that would be my final suggestion. Uh, for the rest it looks good. Yeah, it even goes to 3 XP, so probably you can level. And yeah, I'm not sure how you're going to keep track of this in a in a green legacy kind of game because uh, endurance has been ticked off. Maybe use a pencil, maybe laminate this. Not really sure. Uh, I think we can find a solution. Uh, I could also find a solution with uh, a deck of wonders. Uh, so I use stickers that you can remove without damaging the card. Uh, there should be a similar solution for this game. The ends. So, I hope you got a good idea of uh, the work that I'm planning to do and a good idea about Aridia. And have a nice day. Bye bye.